Welcome to another episode today. We're gonna find the reference angle of these two questions right here. Before we start, just a little review. A reference angle is just the angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but let's just get started. Let's get to work. Okay, when I get a problem like this, the very first concern that I have is that I have to draw my terminal side. And this is where I'm going to draw it. The negative in this part just tells me what direction I have to go to draw my terminal side. And a negative means I have to go clockwise. The second thing that I do is that I just divide these two numbers to see if there's one full rotation in there. And it also helps me gauge where I'm going to draw my terminal side. So if I divide 29 by 18, that is about 1.61. And one full circle is two pi, right? So if one full circle is two pi, then a quarter of a circle, and let's just label it, and we're going backwards, that's why I'm labeling this backwards, a half pi, or 0 0.5 pi, same thing. Half a circle is one pi, so from here to here is one pi. Three fourths of a circle is three halves pi, or 1.5 pi, and one full circle, like what you said, was two pi. So if this is 1.6 pi, that's gonna be roughly over here on the first quadrant, and it's gonna be closer to 1.5. So let's go ahead and draw my terminal side. So a reference angle is just the angle between this terminal side and your x-axis, right? So you could just draw a line that's perpendicular right here, all the way to your x-axis, and we're trying to find this reference angle right here. That's the goal. So visualize this, you don't need any formulas, you don't need to memorize anything. Let's just use common sense. We said that from here all the way, and don't make fun of my circle, it's not the greatest. It's actually pretty good though. That dotted line represents 29 over 18 pi. One full circle, one full circle is two pi. So the strategy here is just to take a full circle and cut away this piece that we have right here and I will get my reference angle from here to here. The opening from my terminal side to the x-axis. Like I said, just to repeat myself, all we have to do is take two pi and subtract 29 over 18 pi. From here on out, it's just some fraction work. I got a denominator of 18, so I just gotta multiply this by 18 over 18. That's gonna get me 36 over 18 pi minus 29 over 18 pi 36 minus 29 is 7 over 18 pi I don't think I can reduce that and that's it that's it that is my reference angle let's try out another question that's a little different from this one this one's positive meaning I have to go this way I have to go counterclockwise the second thing that I do is I divide 31 by 9 and that's roughly 3.44. So wait a minute, right? One full circle is two pi, so this exceeds two pi. It means I'm going to complete one whole rotation. So when that happens, this is what I do. I'm gonna subtract that one full rotation. So I'm gonna take 31 over nine and subtract two pi. There's some more fraction work once again, 31 pi over nine. I just gotta multiply this by nine over nine, so that's 18 over nine pi, and I get 13 over nine pi. So visualize it this way. 31 over nine is the same as two pi, one full rotation, and let's just color this in blue, 13 over nine pi which is what we calculated right there. So this is what it looks like visually. To draw my terminal side, I have to travel one full rotation, there's my two pi, and 13 over nine. So guess what you do with 13 over nine to figure out where you're gonna put your terminal side. All you have to do is divide, and you can kind of gauge where to place that. If I divide 13 over nine, that equals about 1.4. If this is zero, this is a half pi this time, or 0 0.5 pi. This is one full pi, so it's gonna pass that, but it's not gonna pass 1.5 pi, or three halves pi. 1.4 is closer to 1.5, it's around right there. So now we can draw our terminal side. Again, from here to here is 13 over nine pi. There's my terminal side, and we're trying to find the angle between the terminal side and the x-axis 
which is my reference angle. Draw a line perpendicular all the way to your x-axis, and we're trying to find this measurement right here. So this one's a little different. If I take that dotted line and I subtract this green part here, which is one pi, I'm going to get my reference angle. So no formulas are needed. You just have to understand this visually. So we said we're gonna take 13 over nine pi, which is that dotted line, and I subtract one pi, and I will get my answer. Last fraction work from here, multiply it by nine over nine. I end up getting 13 over nine pi minus nine over nine pi, and that just equals 13 minus nine, which is four over nine pi. There's my reference angle. And that is not even too bad. That's not too bad. Anyways, hopefully this helped. If it did, make sure again you like and subscribe and I will see you on the next episode. Peace.